adding the weight a little bit every week and, and mm -hmm. that's fine. And I mean, I don't really know a lot as far as doing things on my own still. Like I still have you send me workouts. So, um, that's kind of, that's definitely helpful. And that's what gets me in the gym every week. Otherwise I would not, I would be like, eh. Ah, Jim can wait. Um, <laughs> that accountability factor that's so powerful. It definitely is. I mean, not only do you send me work, like there's times where I don't, you don't send me workouts and I have to go in and do my own. But like, I know enough at this point where I can put my own type of workout together. Um, and again, depending on my schedule, like sometimes I do need that little push to, to get me in. Like this week I worked Monday through Thursday. So to get in today was kind of rough, but I did it anyway. And I'm we appreciate be your sacrifice <laughs> for this podcast. <laughs> I mean, four hours of sleep is nothing, but that's okay. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, so it's fine. It's just it's just a matter of like getting myself in here, and um, I definitely want to stick with this as much as possible. And as long as I mean, I'm getting somewhere. I'm sticking to it, and I still have no back pain. And it helped, like I said, with the mental health, it, it helps me get into the gym. It helps me burn some steam sometimes. And mm. you know, after a rough week like this week as well, you know, I had a couple couple months back too where I just needed to get into the gym and I just walked it out or I just lifted weights to, to burn off the steam. And that's really, that's something a lot of people don't know when they either start lifting weights or get into the gym. They don't, they don't know that that can also burn the steam. Um, yeah, the so, big stress reliever. Yeah. Whether you have stuff going on at work, at home, or whatnot. Right. It's just it, a good release of right. all that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're working your body, you're still stressing your body out, like a good stress. Right. Um, and you're, but you're working your mind and your body in a different way, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and I definitely, the other thing I want to start hopefully doing is to like, let people know and understand the good of strength training and the good of just getting to the gym and working off that steam. Like I want to help people understand more, a little bit, like more beneficial ways of getting into the gym. Um, cause it does take that confidence in just asking for help. Mm -hmm. Um, like, like I said at the beginning, I, it took me forever to, figure it out that I needed help and to ask for help but then I finally did it and I you know I, I went up to you and I was like hey can you help me and you were like yeah no problem and it, it I mean it, it was kind of weird at first asking for that help but it's it's all about the confidence and asking for help so between between now and then is pretty pretty cool <laughs> yeah Pretty amazing. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you need is just to, to, I guess, take that leap of faith. You know, you just don't, it, it, it sometimes it can be tough just to, just to ask for help. That can be right. a, a really, a, a really difficult thing for so many people to do to say, Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. I don't know how, how to get where I need to be or, or how to get out of pain or whatever right. your goal might be. Right. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that, that, that just takes strength right there. So you had it in you all along really, but now we've just gradually brought more of that out for right. sure. Whether yeah. it's the career or personal life or otherwise mental health, physical health, right. we've seen and talked about on the podcast a bunch about how it benefits you, but you know, here it is directly from the horse's mouth, if you will, you know, the, the, uh, we're, we're talking to the people that are experiencing it, not just myself. So you're already on your way with spreading the word on, on like the, I guess the, the benefits of strength training. Cause Hey, you're here, right here. You're on this podcast. You know, you were a little, I don't know, a little hesitant to do it, but you, you'd already been on one a little bit before, um, which was, which was cool. Uh, but like, so now what, you know, how, how do you plan on, uh, going about spreading the word about this? I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess like I've said it a lot in my Facebook posts about some of the things we do during the week and some of the, um, I've been getting a little bit better about, you know, the more weights we lift, I get more excited about just new the, challenges. the new challenges and the extreme weight. It's pretty crazy. Um, 
and it's a good confidence booster when you put it on social media too. I know a lot of people are like, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> they freak out like, oh, don't hurt yourself. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. Um, or it, I don't know. It's just, a, I think social media for me is kind of the best way only because I, like I've got a good following and they know what I've been through. They know my story. Um, yep. But, and my coworkers know my story as well. And I've always said, hey, you know, like, hey, cool, you got back pain too? Why don't you go to the gym? <laughs> um, or, like, I've tried talking my mom into it for a little while now, and, you know, she's got debilitating back pain as well. She's really? been through emergency surgeries and stuff. She's got discs out. Um, and she's still to the point where she can barely walk sometimes. So, wow. um, I mean, it's just a matter of, yeah, getting the word out there. How? I don't yeah. know. It's just, you know... <laughs> I, I'm. I guess I could say I'm sort of a popular person, so it's just a matter of. You know, you're kind of a big deal. Nah, I'm kind of a big deal. No. <laughs> well, that's that's great. Yeah, because I, I mean, and then here's the thing: like Keller, for a while, you were telling me all like almost every week that you came in that you were you were at the gym because Keller goes to another gym to do her other workouts throughout the week and. And you, you have people coming up to you on a regular yeah. basis saying, oh my God, you're such a, you're, you're such an inspiration to me and all this stuff yeah. because they see her lifting these big weights or, hey, just recently she started doing chin-ups and yeah. busting out <laughs> sets of 10 push-ups like it's nothing. <laughs> I mean, talk about that a little bit. Like what, what the, what have those experience been like for you? I don't, I mean, like I've always, I've never thought I've had, you know, like a good top core strength. Type. Core and upper Core, body, upper body and all that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I've always crashed out a bunch of push-ups. I've I've done them so many times before, whether cheerleading, whether soccer. Um, I love push-up. I'm a push-up kind of person. I've never done what do you call? What do you like the sissy push-ups? I've never done those. <laughs> the push-ups the, from the knees or yeah, something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so I mean, I've always crashed them out, and those I've. Those are pretty cool to see, even though, even if it's like an extra one every now and then is, is pretty fun. As far as the chin-ups, those are crazy. I never believed in myself. I never thought I would ever, like, just dangling from two arms was able to pull up my whole body weight. Like, I know it's very similar to a push-up, but it's just like... Yeah, similar, but hey, a lot, lot harder to achieve, especially yeah. again as a lady, it it tends to be a lot more challenging. Most people, most people in general, and especially most ladies, can't do uh, uh, push ups or chin ups. Right. And it didn't really take you all that long overall to get them because we had been training for years, but we had done you know predominantly barbell training, squats, bench press, deadlift, overhead press, things like that. But then we started mixing in some body weight stuff as well, and we started working on chin-ups, and it you know, maybe took you a few months to to get your first one, and now you're, you know, doing like a bunch of, a bunch of, <laughs> like not a bunch of reps all at once, but she'll do like five sets of one rep at a time and, and be able to get them all. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. <laughs> That's a word I keep using today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so going back to the the inspiration of the, the individuals that have kind of approached you. So how, what's that like on your end to, to have somebody come up and say that? It's pretty cool. Like when I'm in the moment at the gym, like I've got my headphones in, I'm just, you know, crashing them out. I don't even think about anything. You know, I'm, I'm in the mode and I've got my eighties music on. A lot of people make fun of me for that, but I've got my eighties <laughs> music on. Hey, bet. That's the best. <laughs> my, my classic rock. Um, and you know, I, I just get my workout done. Most of the time I'm getting them done before work. So it's kind of a faster pace workout, but, um, I, I apparently have people who watch me. I'm so in the zones that I just don't, I don't realize that, you know, people are, are watching me. And um, I've had a lot of, like, big, buffy, like, muscly men come around the corner and they'll be like, holy crap, like, that was pretty great. Like, that was cool. Um, so you get some mad respect from the gym bros now. I get, now. like, yeah, the, the really, <laughs> like, heft, like, big, muscly bros, uh, however you want to say it. Like, um, they're pretty, they're, it's funny to watch them come around the corner and they're like well I've never seen somebody lift that much weight especially your height or um <laughs> I've even had you know women who are have significantly less uh weight as I do but 
like they'll come up to me and they're like wow you're such an inspiration like I see you every week and it's so great seeing you and I love that like you add weight every week so it's pretty cool and I can't wait to like possibly be that one day and I was like whoa wow like I like I said I didn't even think people were watching and then when I get compliments like that it it's definitely that's another confidence booster and it just keeps it going and it's like okay well I I definitely want to come back and I've and it's great because like with you being my personal trainer like I know I'm doing things right or for the most part I know we were kind of you do like, okay we're kind of iffy on our squat lately but um <laughs> you know for the most part like I'm I'm doing things hopefully right on my end and I I hope people can like see that side of things and that you know when I watch people work out as well there's some moments where I'm like, ooh, ah, that's not how you should do that. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not a personal trainer myself, so like, I don't want to go up to them and give them my opinion. Mm. Um, I mean, maybe someday I'll find that confidence and that strength to go up and be like, hey, why don't you try this instead of yeah. that? Um, that can be a tough. That can be a tough conversation, even as a as a coach, just walking up to somebody. That yeah. that can some you know you just never know how the person's gonna take right, it. Right, right. So, um, but it's pretty cool. I I love the compliments and especially again on social media. That's the dopamine that we get as well from mm, our posts right, and right. people saying, "Wow, you're so strong," or "Wow, keep at it," or you know, like it's great to see how far you come, or "Oh my gosh, that's a crazy amount of weight," and you know, it's just. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It makes me want to keep going and makes me want yeah. more weight. <laughs> As they say, what gets rewarded gets repeated. Exactly. And it seems like you're getting rewarded from a whole bunch of places and you're inspiring other people to yeah. maybe follow suit and, and do the same. Right. It's pretty cool to see like other weightlifters and they're like, oh, you should try out for weightlifting. Yeah, no, maybe someday. <laughs> we'll get you in there at some point. I've been talking to Keller off and on about doing a powerlifting meet at some point and uh, hey I'd like to do another one myself so maybe we'll do one together at some point <laughs> so you would totally kill it sure. totally kill it we'll see maybe someday <laughs> all right Keller well uh speaking of like social media and stuff uh, uh where can people find you on the interwebs if you you know if they want to be inspired by a four foot eleven weightlifting badass oh my goodness um <laughs> i am on both instagram and facebook uh you can find me at keller mcgee um it's it's not my actual last name which it's is, a code it's name a, it's a code, code name. name it's an old nickname <laughs> that i've been using um and yeah i mean i post whatever is on instagram is is connected to my facebook so um, if you want just Instagram, I'm there, or if you want just Facebook, I'm there. So, um, yeah, Keller McGee. All right. Check her out folks. And again, Hey, we're, uh, here at on track in Essex junction. Come check us out one free week for free, no obligation. All right. No strings attached. If you want to learn more about weight training or your how it can affect your mental, physical health, your longevity, go back and check out the rest of the podcast. We have over five hours of content on that with other guests that you can learn from. Thank you for listening. We hope to see you soon and get strong. Get Live, strong. Long. Live long. Live long. Yeah. All day, every day. <laughs>